Hey guys, it's Alyssa from AlyssaNalani.com. Welcome back to my channel. Now, I was not planning on filming today, even though I said um, in my tending list Tuesday video that one of my goals this month was to film and post, well, not film every day, but post um, five videos a week. So one every day, Monday through Friday. Um, I've just been in a different headspace the past few days. And today I thought I'm on such a great roll working on a specific project, um, really just doing some project planning and brainstorming, that my time was gonna be better used for that rather than just trying to crank out a video just for the sake of cranking out a video. Um, I really do try to kind of think through my videos and kind of bullet point them so that I can go from topic to topic. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that's kind of what I try to do. And I hadn't completely fully wrapped my mind around this topic yet, so I figured that I would postpone this video. However, I've been sitting here at my desk most of the day in front of my computer, and the title of the video just kind of kept popping up in my head, and I was like, you know, I really should just try, give it a try. And so instead of kind of going through the whole rigmarole of setting myself up in front of my bookcases, I thought I would stay right where I am at, set up my camera, and just try this off the cuff. So, um, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so as you saw from the title of the video, today I'm going to be talking about how to live out your word of the year. And this came from my request to my community here on YouTube for ideas of what kinds of videos you guys wanted to see this year. And a few people asked, well, how do you, I'm paraphrasing, but basically how do you um, practically use or live out your word of the year? How do you use it? What do you do with it? And so I thought that's a really good question. That would be a great topic. But for me, <laughs> thinking about it requires me to kind of reverse engineer thoughts that I've been having for quite some time. And so I'm going to do my best to explain what the word of the year means to me and how it functions in my daily life. Okay. Now, just a bit of context. Um, my word of the year this year is classy. Um, my word of the year last year was faithful, and my word of the year before that in 2018 was brave. Now, I've talked about this in various and sundry videos um, in the past, but brave was my word in 2018. And what that allowed me to do, um, well, let me back up a little bit. Um, in my better, Build a Better Year 2020 series, and I was talking about the word of the year, one of the things that I said about it is that it functions as a focal point for you to kind of fix your eyes on throughout the year and kind of keep you grounded and centered on what is important to you and what you want to focus on, right? So in 2018, I chose Brave because I have an innate fear of failure and I resist the process of being a beginner and working on things and becoming better and better and better at it. It's a very awkward process for me and I don't enjoy it. Some things I just, I want to be good at it now. Um, I want it to look good or feel good now. And the process to get there, um, depending on what it is, I resist the awkwardness. <clears throat> and also I just, the reason why I resist the awkwardness is because I don't like failing. I don't like having to try and try and try again. So anyway, Brave was chosen because I wanted to push past and push back on that fear. And what came out of that was me starting my YouTube channel. And I said, I'm no longer going to make decisions based on what I'm afraid of or based on how uncomfortable it makes me or based on the fact that I'm a newbie and I have to learn and I have to be awkward and I have to try again and I have to, you know, go through the process of becoming better and becoming expert at something. And that word served me well, and I did try things that scared me. Then in 2019, last year, I chose the word faithful because I wanted my focal point that year to really be my relationship on God, uh, with God, my relationship on God, my relationship with God and how I could practically um, live that out in my life. Not that, you know, and, and here's the thing with the word of the year, not that, you know, now that it's not 2018, I don't have to worry about focusing on being brave anymore. That's, I still have to be brave 
every single day, right? And not that now that it's not 2018, I'm not focusing on my relationship with God this year. That's still important. I'm just kind of taking the spotlight and kind of shining it on um, an aspect of my life just for a moment, right? Just for a time. And using that to remind myself what's important to be um, important to me um, in the big picture. So out of 2019 and my word of the year being faithful, that turned into the Bible study project series that I did here on the channel and Club 119. And um, if I hadn't, if I hadn't um, focused on that area for that year, it probably wouldn't have happened that way. But because that's where my mind was, that's what came out of it. That's the project that ended up, or those are the projects that ended up coming from that focal point. And then, and now, side note, I didn't ever do any of that perfectly. <laughs> I was not brave all of 2018. I was not faithful all of 2019, so on and so forth. This is just where I placed my overarching focus, but then I was still human, you know, underneath that. So just wanted to put that out there. Now this year, my word of the year is classy. And I chose classy really because that is something, that is a topic that is a uh, it's not a feeling, but that's a sort of a mindset that has intrigued me and that I've wanted to develop over time. It's really a lifestyle mindset. I don't really know how to describe it. But anyway, it's something that I've kind of been in pursuit of for a while. And if you've been following me here on the channel, you might remember that I have a few videos talking about um, being a classy lady. So this is something that I've kind of been dabbling in for a while. So by the time 2020 hit, I had that in my head and I had that sort of experience of exploring that. Plus in 2020, I'll be turning 30. And so on my mind was, okay, how do I close out a decade and how do I open up a new decade and walk forward into this new era of my life? What do I want to work on? What's important to me? You know, what are my goals? So on and so forth. And classy just fit. It just fit. Now, one of the things that you do want to do, I'm going to start, I'm going to try to get a little practical here. When you are considering, okay, how do I live this out? How does this become a part of my everyday life? You want to do a couple of things. One, if this word hasn't already been a part of your inner dialogue, then it needs to be a part of your inner dialogue. And what I mean by that is classy was in an, um, a concept. That's the word I was looking for. Classy is a concept that has been hanging around my head for a while. I've been thinking about it. I've read articles about it. I've desired it. I, you know, it, it's already part of what goes on inside my head. If it's not a part of your inner dialogue, then what you might consider is just start, you know, writing it down in your notebook, in your planner, in your journal, you know, put it on a sticky note and paste it to your computer screen or your mirror or whatever. Make it you know, visually put it in front of you so that it becomes part of what goes on in your head. And then what you want to do is be, if you have not done so already, you want to be able to define why you chose the word. Okay. So I have my word written here in my power sheets and, um, underneath it says, um, it, there's a prompt that says why I chose this word. And so I wrote down classy embodies all that I want for my life in 2020. I want to be a strong, creative woman who lives well and stays focused on what matters. To me, that's a classy lady. And so I was able to, in a couple of short sentences, define why this word is important to me and what it's going to mean to me to be able to live up to it or to live in it or through it or, you know, use it as the framework for, you know, my decision making or whatever, however it functions for you. And so, you know, one Make it part of your inner dialogue, what goes on in your head. Two, be able to define why it matters to you. And then three, and this is something I'm going to be talking about in another video, but three, what you want to be able to do is, and this is the part that I'm still kind of working on defining. <laughs> this is why I originally wasn't planning on making this video, but you want to be able to um, use the word to influence or frame 
or construct or inform the decisions you make. For instance, brave, you know, my word for 2018, in my head that told me that scares you. And once I've ruled out whether or not it's gonna hurt me, whether or not it's gonna be destructive or bad or whatever, that fear is real and it's okay to feel, but don't let that be the final say. Brave said to me in my head, you've thought about it, you've prayed about it, you just, you feel like this is a smart calculated risk. Just because you're afraid doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Go for it. That's what Brave did for me, right? And so whatever your word is, it could be discipline, it could be focus, it could be creativity, it could be faith, it could be anything, but it should help to, you should use it as a tool that you take out when you are following through on your goals, when you are setting your goals, when you are problem solving, when you are, um, you know, doing something creative, when you are troubleshooting something, when you are trying to make a decision. It should be one of the tools that you have in your hand, along with some other things, along with asking advice of people, along with praying about it, along with maybe journaling it, along with making a project plan. It should be a tool, not the only tool, but a tool in your hand that you use to um, do all of those things, decision-making, troubleshooting, you know, solving problems, um, having conversations, making plans, setting goals, all of these things. And so again, I'm going to be talking about this in another video that I'll be doing next week. Let me check my schedule. Yeah, next week. I'm going to be talking about um, some of the projects that I'm going to be working on based on my word of the year. So um, I don't know if that answers the question that was posed as to how do you use the word of the year throughout the year. I'm going to try my best to find other ways to explain or to show how classy shows up for me. Um, but do realize that it's going to show up for me in ways that it might not show up for you. You know, my word of the year is going to function in my life the way that your word of the year may not function. And your word of the year, it just needs to function correctly for you. I mean, don't think like, oh, she's you know, got all these project plans and it's based on classy. Oh, I need to do that too. No, if all it does is put a smile on your face when you think about it every day, then it's doing its job. If that's what you needed it to do, it's just a tool. It's not a definer necessarily. You can use it to define something, but it shouldn't define you um, or all aspects of you. It can define what you want to pursue, but it is not you. And I don't want you to put too much pressure on that word. I think I talked about that in the Build About a Year series. Don't put too much pressure on that word to be something that it does not need to be in your life. Um, it's a tool and something that you can use for, um, you know, all different kinds of things. Um, the way my brain works, I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know really even how to necessarily describe it, but the way my brain works, projects make sense to me. So to look at something and to say, okay, I've got this idea, or I've got this thing that I want to do, my mind instantly goes, okay, let's make it a project. So what are the steps? How do we frame this? How do we package it? What's it going to look like? <laughs> and that's how my brain works. And excuse me, and classy just functions that way for me. But it could, it most likely is something um, very different or maybe maybe somewhat similar, similar, but it's gonna have your flavor, your personality, your um, quirks and idiosyncrasies and your, you know, the functions that you need. So anyway, I hope that helps. I'm gonna be working more on trying to further define that and further show how it works, um, hopefully throughout the year. But watch out for next week. I will be talking about some of the projects that I'll be working on. These are just goals that I would have probably already set anyway, but I'm just theming them with my word of the year. That's all I'm doing. This isn't like, oh, I've got some like unique, magical, like super girl talent, or not talents, um, projects, because, you know, classy is my word. No, it's just, I took the things that I wanted to work on 
and I put them under this umbrella of my word of the year. So anyway, look out for that. It'll probably be, it should be next Thursday, so exactly a week from today, and I'll talk more on this. Um, in the meantime, I hope it helps. Let me know your thoughts, and if you have any other questions about the word of the year, let me know. Um, if you have not yet watched my video on setting up your word of the year and your Bible verse of the year, um, then you can check out the link in the description for the better for the Build a Better Year 2020 playlist, and that video is right in that playlist. Um, thanks so much for watching this. I'm glad I actually got through it. I didn't think this was going to work, but I'm glad it did. I will talk to you all in the next video. Have a great rest of the day, and yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.